Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Stephanie, AKA the Limitless Babe, reminding you today and every day that you are limitless. So what if I told you that absolutely every single relationship in your life was brought to your life to teach you something? Would you accept that truth or would you argue with me? <laughs> well, bring it <laughs> because I'll argue right back. What if you were able to sit back and understand that every single person, even the relationships that you wish you could erase, that you wish never happened in your life, were there as catalysts for your growth, for your development, for your understanding. And the only thing that's holding you back from learning those lessons is yourself, is your own mentality. Like, what if I told you that there's a reason that you connect with people. There's a reason that people come across your path. And even if they're not divinely orchestrated, even if it's people that we were never meant to be with, for some reason, your soul chose to connect with this person. And odds are it's because your soul recognized that there was something to learn here, that there was some way for you to grow. Now, Keep in mind, that doesn't mean that we're meant to stay with these relationships. Some people are meant to come into our life, cause complete chaos, and leave. And it's because we're supposed to then turn around and see what we're made of. We're supposed to see how we can grow, how we can develop, what areas of our life need improving, right? So what are some things that we can learn from the people in our relationships? Well, we can learn some ugly qualities about ourselves that we need to work on. We can learn some really beautiful qualities about ourselves that we need to learn how to appreciate, okay? We can see development and growth in ourselves and reflect back and say, wow, like, I've grown through this relationship. Excuse me, my voice is cracking. <clears throat> there are some relationships that when you look back, you say, wow, I can't believe how beautifully I handled this situation because I've grown in ways that I didn't even realize it was happening. Or there are some times where you can look back and say, oh, I didn't handle that so well, but you know what? I'm going to learn from it. And the next time around with the next person, I'm going to do better. Okay. And even sometimes with the same person, okay, I didn't treat them properly, but I still love this person. I'm going to do better. So there's always potential for growth and opportunities. And like I said, I don't want you to focus so much on whether or not the relationship is meant to be forever or temporary or the duration of it, it doesn't matter. The thing is that everybody has the potential to teach us something. And I want you to open your eyes and learn to appreciate every interaction for the better. I think it's really easy to sit back and think, oh, I wish I hadn't gone through that. Or, oh, I wish I never connected with that person. Or, oh God, I wish I could erase this chapter of my life. But every single chapter develops your character if you allow it, if you are introspective. I mean, granted, there are those people that go through life numbing everything and resisting everything and just constantly having to relive the same lesson over and over and over again because they just refuse. They refuse to grow. They refuse to learn. And I mean, I, I feel pity for those people. I really do. But I also have the empathy of understanding. I know why you do that. It's comfortable. We'd rather the devil we know than the devil we don't know, right? We don't know what's on the other side of growth. We don't know what's on the other side of change. We don't know what's on the other side of becoming the next level version of ourselves. And when you're so comfortable feeling safe, and I say that with air quotes because it's like you're not really safe. When you're stuck in stagnant energy of toxicity, you're not safe but you know how to cope with it. Your body has learned how to handle that. Your body knows how to deal with this level of discomfort and it's terrified of healthy. It's terrified of moving to that next level. So I feel a tremendous amount of empathy for those people that are not ready or who are scared of the growth, scared of the vulnerability, scared of really letting someone in see because that's the thing guys. <laughs> when you really grow and open yourself up you also learn that you have to start letting people in, letting people see the real authentic parts of you. And it's terrifying sometimes because yeah, you want people to see the good parts of you, right? You want people to see the beauty and the fun parts and the silly parts, but it's scary to let them see the ugly parts, the angry parts, the sad parts. But 
again, that's growth. Letting yourself, <clears throat> letting yourself feel that level of vulnerability to get comfortable with those ugly parts is true growth. And that's the only way to find real connections because here's the thing, guys, if you really desire true connection, you gotta let people in. You gotta let people decide for themselves whether or not they can handle the US version of you that there is. Okay, so again, I just want to kind of recap because I went into two different tangents. One, learn to appreciate and accept every single relationship because they are meant to teach you. They're meant to help you grow. They're meant to be a part of your beautiful story and your beautiful journey. There's a reason that there are chapters in your book. It's not all just one. Okay, and also two, don't be scared to let that growth happen because when that growth happens, that's when you find the potential to have real connection with someone and actually find that lasting relationship that you desire. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope there was some value in this for you and I hope you stay limitless. I also hope you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell for notifications. I love you guys. Bye. Oh.